welcome to a new video. So I made a bit of a boo-boo, so I do apologise. Um, so here we have the Canon 800mm f11 STM RF prime lens on my R6 at the moment here, as you can see in the video. And um, originally when I did some testing of this lens, because I wanted to compare it to the image stabilisation of this lens on my EOS R that we're filming on, versus the R6 with its inbuilt IBIS um, as well as the stabilization on the lens. So I went doing my tests and obviously realized that at some point the uh, IBIS wasn't turned on because many YouTubers led me to believe, whether it be rightly or wrongly, that when you um, turn the stabilizer on your lens, it turns the stabilizer in your camera on as well which is not correct because what I had to do is I double checked in the settings um, under IBIS and I found that it was turned off so obviously that assumption is incorrect so I went into IBIS turned it on and we rerun the tests so what we've done in this video today is we've tested the stabilization on the lens in conjunction with the IBIS on the R6 versus the um, EOS R with stabilization just on the lens because the EOS R doesn't have IBIS built into the camera. So you're going to see a good comparison. What I decided to do was test IBIS um, on, with this lens outside in the real world and just see how good or how not so good depending on your point of view um, the stabilization was and I also took my 24 to 105 STM lens that we're filming on now and I did a walk around just to see how good it is like a, a gimbal type uh, filming project and I just wanted to get an idea on how steady the IBIS the in-body stabilization on the R6 works when walking around with a lens to my eye, it's not making a vast improvement um, when I did the project. But we'll get to see the video of samples and we'll have a look and see if it made any difference with the in-body stabilization. Personally, already, I think when using the lens quite steady to your eye and you're uh, keeping your hand quite steady and it's against your head for extra stability, I don't think in-body stabilization is making a vast improvement. Um, I think the stabilization of the lens is doing a good job um, but when it comes to the in-body stabilization I didn't think it was doing a fantastic or a, a huge amount of improvement let's, let's just say that so um, let's jump to the examples and have a look okay we're on the EOS R um, mirrorless camera with the 800mm f11 prime lens and doing a vi bit of a video test and I'm just seeing how the image stabilization does. This is image stabilization on the lens only. So it's giving us about four stops of image stabilization. And that's how steady we can keep it on the EOS R. Um, and we're about 10 meters away. And obviously, 800 millimeters, it should be quite difficult. But look how steady that is. It's doing a really good job. Don't get me wrong, it's a bit heavy in hand. I do have the tripod, tripod foot on the actual lens, so it is helping a lot to hold that, to keep this steady as I can. And as you can see, it's doing a really, really good job. Obviously it's not super perfect, but a tripod would be better. But as you can see, I don't see any problems here. Okay, this is the R6 with the image stabilization on body IBIS turned on. Stabilizer on the lens is turned on. 
and we're just comparing it to the EOS R and I'm holding it as steady as I can and just seeing how it does if I'm honest with you we're getting a similar result I don't think there's any main difference here but we'll just keep doing the test Right, so the lens we're using is the 24 to 105 STM full frame EF lens on the EOS R. We put it stabilizer on, we set it to 50 millimeters, and we're just going to walk around and see how the stabilization does. This is lens only stabilization, so I just want to get an idea on how smooth it can be. I've got the, you know, the viewfinder to my eye holding it quite steady at the moment giving us some good stability but I want to walk and see how it does so let's just have a look so we'll go towards that uh, wizard uh, model that we've got and let's just see how we do Okay, this is doing an okay job, but it's still a little bit jerky with me walking. So that's the EOS R full frame mirrorless camera with no in body stabilization. Right. Right, we're on the R6 this time with the STM uh, 24 to 105 EF lens with the adapter on, obviously. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, we used the adapter on the EOS R as well. So what I want to do is test the IBIS in body stabilization with this lens in conjunction with the stabilizer on the lens. So we're going to walk towards that model again as we did with the EOS R and we're going to see how the stabilizer holds up. So let's just have a go. So there you are, that's the result of the test. Right, we've actually set up the uh, enhanced mode on the in-body stabilization. Uh, this time on the R6 with the 24-105 EF STM lens. So let's just see how it does while I walk along and see how the uh, stabilizer is working in conjunction with the lens stabilizer. So let's just have a look. So that's the test complete. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and please like the video. It really, really helps. Thank you.